time for the word. Hello again, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Motivational Wednesday. As you can see, I am back with another reader psalm with me. This morning, I'll be reading Psalm 25 from verse 1 to the end. And it's a psalm of David. Let's read this morning, beautiful people. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Who is David lifting up his soul to this morning, beautiful people? He's lifting up his soul to the Almighty God. And he's saying, let me not be ashamed. Our God is someone we can trust this morning. You can tell him anything and he will not let you down. Listen what David said. He said, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over, triumph over me. Let not mine enemies laugh at me. Let not my enemies say, you see how long that girl is serving God. God is not, she, God is not doing anything for her. She lacks this. He lacks that. No, we don't want our enemies to laugh at us. We don't want our enemies to triumph over us. Verse 3. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Are you waiting on God this morning for anything? I am. Let them be ashamed which, which transgress without cause. Sometimes some, some people hurt us without a cause. Sometimes some people trouble us and we don't trouble them. They are the ones this morning that David is saying, let them be ashamed. Don't let me be ashamed, ashamed, Lord, because I am trying to live a life that is pleasing unto thee. Verse 4, show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Who are you waiting from this? Who are you waiting for this morning to answer your prayer? I am waiting on the living God. The God, the God who sits high and he looks low. And there is nothing that is impossible for him. That is a God that I am waiting for. I have prayers that I need him to answer. And I am waiting patiently for him to answer my prayers. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Yes, the Lord's mercies and kindness, beautiful people, can't be expired. Mm -mm. Our God is a merciful God. Our God is a kind God. As long as we live a life that is pleasing unto him, beautiful people, he will show us mercies. He will show us his kindness. Okay? Verse 7. Remember not the sins of my youth. Sometimes you have to pray this prayer. Lord, don't remember the sins of my youth. Don't remember what I used to do when I was young. Nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy, for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Remember me for, my, for thy goodness sake, Lord. Don't remember what I used to do in the past. No. Remember the good that I am doing. Remember the good that I have done. Verse 8. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Listen, listen again to verse 8. Good and upright is the, is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. But you have to be humble enough. Beautiful people. If you want to change, you have to be humble, um, humble enough for God to change you. But it's always up to you. God is willing to do anything for us because we all know 
If we live a sinful life, we cannot enter into heaven. So we must be humble. Be humble enough to want to change. And God is willing and able to change us, to work on us. So be humble, beautiful people. Ask God to change you. There are things that we know that will hinder us, beautiful people, from entering the kingdom of heaven. So we have to ask God to get rid of those stuff from out of our lives. The meek, and you, you see, you, you hear what verse 9 says, the meek will he guide in judgment. Yes. And the meek will he teach his way. You have to be humble enough. God wants to work on us, you know. But we have to be humble enough, beautiful people. Because it's not easy. Because a lot of things that we hold on to, God don't want us to hold on to it. And a lot of us don't want to give up, give up certain things. And for us to live a life that is pleasing unto our God, we have to give up a lot of things, beautiful people. Sometimes we are too fleshy. You know, sometimes we are too proud. Sometimes we, 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 we love the, the things of this world and we will do anything for it. No, sometimes we have to give up those, those, those things and be humble. Verse 10. All the path of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Can, are you honest enough this morning to ask God to pardon your iniquities because they are great? I am. Don't be afraid, beautiful people, to tell God to pardon your, your iniquities because they are great. Lord, I have done this. I have done that. I am ashamed, Lord. Forgive me. Help me to live a life that is pleasing unto you. Forgive my sins. Forgive my, transgress my, my transgressions, Lord. Verse 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. You have to fear the Lord, you know, beautiful people. You can't live a life. You can't just live any life. You have to live a life. That is pleasing unto him. And to, to please the Lord, we have to fear him. Because if you don't fear the Lord, you will just live any kind of life. You will just say anything, any word come out of our mouth sometimes. Because we don't fear the Lord. Remember now, you know, he sees and he hears. We, we, we don't see him, but he sees us and he hears us. So we must all, always be fearful. When we are saying things and when we are doing things, just know that God, God sees and he hears. What I love about these psalms, these psalms tell, tell us to fear the Lord. And I, I really love that because we, we, we will never enter into, into, into his heaven, into his presence, beautiful people, if we don't fear him. Because if you do not fear the Lord, you will live, as I said, any kind of life. And any kind of life does not get you into heaven. Verse 13. Listen, his soul shall dwell at ease. When we fear the Lord and we are living the right kind of life, beautiful people, a humble life, a righteous life, our soul shall, shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit and our seeds, our children and grandchildren shall in inherit the earth. Because when we fear the Lord, he pours, he pours out a lot of blessings on us beautiful people. And the blessing goes down to our children and grandchildren to our children's children. Verse 14. The secret of the Lord, listen now, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. You see that? The secret of the Lord. Beautiful people live a life. That is pleasing unto our God by fearing him. Fear by fearing him. Because when we fear God, we please him. And when we do that, he blesses us. Verse 15. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord. Let us keep our eyes on God this morning. For he shall pluck my feet out of the net. 
he will not he will not let any harm to come upon us beautiful people when we set our eyes on him verse 16 turn turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me don't we all need god god's mercies this morning for i am for i am and see this for i am desolate and afflicted so many countries this morning are feeling this verse 16 here turkey and i think it's syria they are going going through earthquake there you can just imagine beautiful people what is going on in those countries this morning they are feeling des desolate and afflicted so let us keep those countries, countries that are going through wars, countries that are going through devastation. Let us keep those countries in our prayers. Verse 17. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Sometimes we feel distressed, you know, beautiful people. As I was preparing myself for today's video i got a call yesterday that my grandson was about to get to be admitted in the hospital because he have low blood platelets so you know i felt so oh beautiful people i just i felt so sad and disappointed you know so sometimes we we have problems we all have problems this morning look upon mine affliction and my pain O oh lord and forgive all my sins because the weight of sins beautiful people are heavy ask god this morning to forgive your sins and when he does you go, you're going to feel so light and you will fall in love with him falling in love with jesus is the best thing I ever done. Verse 19. Consider mine enemies. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Verse 20. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed. Mm -mm. For I Put my trust in thee. Put your trust in God this morning, beautiful people. You will never, never be ashamed. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I wait on thee. Continue to wait on your God this morning, beautiful people. The last verse says, Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his, his troubles. And I'm not going to only pray for Israel. Because this is a psalm of David. David was praying for Israel. But beautiful people, pray for your own country. I pray for my country, Jamaica, every day. Because there are so many bad things that goes on in this country, beautiful people. I am telling you. Redeem Israel. Redeem Jamaica. Wherever you are this morning, ask God to redeem your country. Redeem Turkey. And those and the other country, my Father God, that are, that are going through earthquake and other devastation. Redeem us this morning and have mercy on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I will, I hope I will be able to continue my series of Women in the Bible next week. I need to continue to, to, to read up on so to read up so i can bring those stories to you guys but as i said yesterday i got some bad news and uh, my soul is just not I, I wasn't in the mood to to bring any of those stories this morning i was reading reading up on hagar but hopefully next week i'll i will be able to bring one of those stories to you guys